are really excited because we are going to be giving Cracker Barrel another chance at redemption. Yes, second and chance. Second chance, you guys. So you guys, we did Cracker Barrel a few weeks back. Mm -hmm. We thought some of the stuff was okay. Mm -hmm. um, some was good, some wasn't. Yeah. Um, but you guys were really, really passionate about Cracker Barrel. Yes. You're like, you gotta get this, you gotta get that. You didn't have it, you know, it was cold by the time you ate it. <laughs> exactly. All the things. So we wanted to try new stuff. Um, and it is all warm, you guys. We just picked it up. We, True. we rushed. We got it all set up. We're pressing play right now. Pressing record right now. Mm -hmm. And actually, I'm going to be honest. Yeah. I feel 10 times more excited about this order than I did the last order. Me too. Looking at everything, it actually, to me, it looks a little bit better. I yeah, feel like we got the pot pie here. It just looks really filled oh. with just everything. It looks really good. And I was hesitant for that one. Yeah, you were. You know I, mean? I wanted it. So that yeah. looks really good. Chicken pot pie. Exactly. Now, I do want to say before we go on, you guys, I want to just mention our inner circle yeah. really fast. Really cool. uh, our inner circle, once again, is a exclusive email community. Essentially, we're doing exclusive content. We're doing secret giveaways, uh, secret lives, not secret giveaways, mm -hmm. but all these different things. It's an email list. Uh, what you want to do is click the link in the description or it's possibly in the comments. Uh, and then go go ahead, sign up, and you'll be on the uh, email inner circle. Yes. So, so check it out. If you want out. more content with us, please sign up. It's totally free. Completely free, by the way. So. Okay, let's dive into the food. I'm going to okay. tell you guys what we got more specifically. Jamil mentioned the chicken pot pie. You guys, yep. this is heavy. This yeah. is hearty. Yeah. Really excited about that. I'm not mad at that. Over here, you guys, is the roast beef. Okay, mm -hmm. this is roast beef. I'm excited. I never yeah. order roast beef. Yes. For a meal. For sure. Me so, neither. yeah, neither do you. <laughs> Looks like roast beef with some like gravy on top, uh -huh. uh, green beans, corn, and then you guys, we got the catfish. I gotta do up close on this one. We got the two piece catfish, you guys. Comes with lime, comes with tartar sauce. We got coleslaw with it and mashed potatoes and gravy. Looks great. And then for dessert, you guys, we got the beignets mm -hmm. with a butter pecan syrup. Or yes. Like a dipping syrup. That to me, that's so unique, by the way. Because usually beignets, beignets, when you get them from places, it's either chocolate and or caramel, caramel or something yes. like that. But but a uh, pecan, butter pecan, right? That sounds good. I'm so excited. Me too. Okay, let's dive in. What do you want to try first? You pick. Um. So out of everything, I'm most questioning the roast beef. Okay. Mainly because I'm not a massive fan of roast beef. Yeah. And this doesn't look like the best I've ever had. So We're let's try it out. Though. Let's try the roast let's beef. Let's do this. Oh, we also got some. Cornbread here and some biscuits over there too. Uh, oh yeah, I just kind of you know we had the biscuits before. I just kind of did yeah. it for a for more of a visual. Exactly. I'm just cutting some up so you can grab it. That sliced through really easily. It's really tender. tender. Yeah. So yeah, that it. might be legit. Yeah, for sure. Hold on. It's very tender. Hold up a second. This looks good. I never get. Have, when have I had roast beef? I think my dad. You oh. Well, I have to rip it everywhere. So much for the one, two, three, huh? One, two, three. I'll tell you about my dad later. <laughs> okay. Try a little bit more. I'm just going in for this whole bite. Wow. That's really good. That's solid. It's mm. solid. Gravy is very good. Gravy is very good. The seasoning on the roast beef is excellent. The tenderness is on point. On point. That tenderness is, it almost just melts in your mouth completely. Well, yeah. not completely, but you know, it definitely melts in your mouth for sure. It does. You know, because I'm getting this idea, Cracker Barrel, like they want to do home style cooking, right? Mm -hmm. And this is bringing you back, it you is. know? It really is. Yeah. As I was saying about my dad. Oh, yeah, yeah. He used to make roast beef once in a while. Mm -hmm. It was very, very good. Yeah. Um, so I have had it a couple times in my life. For sure, yeah. Um, you know, I think... But anyways, you know, people make it different. I don't think you put a gravy on it, from what I remember. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. No, I'm just saying, I don't think he... Oh, I see. Gotcha. Yeah, so I actually enjoy it with the gravy, though. Yeah. It's very good. It's very good with yeah. the gravy. Mm -hmm. uh, I would definitely say, um, I've probably had in my life better roast beef than this. It's still very good. Yeah. It's still very, very good. I like it. Uh, so I, I like it. I enjoy it, too. I definitely enjoy it. Right? Kind of mad it's on your side, you know what I mean? Because I got to <laughs> reach over. No, it's okay. I don't mind. What's up? Do you mind uh, cutting that for me, please? It's the whole thing. No, I don't. Oh, that's too big of a piece. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. What were you about to say? You don't remember? No. It wasn't that important. <laughs> it wasn't that important anyways. I really no, don't remember joking. at all. <laughs> sorry about that. No worries. It'll come back to you. Um, but what I was going to say is, um, to me, this was the most questionable thing. Like, I was looking at the roast beef, and I was like, all right, well, it looks good, but... 
But it's like, you know, roast beef can sometimes cannot be that good. It could be, you did know. You, did you eat it growing up? Uh-huh. Mm. Good. I had it a few times. Mm-hmm. But I'm eating it mostly at other people's houses. Mm-hmm. My mom never really made roast beef. Um, my dad may have a couple times, but he really was going to friends' houses. People would actually make it with gravy and stuff like that. Uh-huh. I've had some good ones, but... This one's up there. This it's one's up there. It's very good. I can see why yeah. uh, you guys suggested this one because I did. For sure. It's really delicious. Exactly. It's just like comfort food. It's true. What else are we trying? What are we going to next? Do we want to rate this? Yeah. Well, let's do some green beans. Too. Okay. Yeah. We're just going to do the whole meal. We had the green beans and corn last time. Yeah, we did. But, oh, yeah. Mmm. Green beans taste like they're like, ooh. Mmm. They're like baked in, with ham or something. Mmm. Right? Doesn't taste like that? Yeah. It's really good. And green beans are on point. I really like it. Okay. So far, this redemption is I, going pretty good. It is. I had a feeling. <laughs> did you have a feeling? Yes, I did. Because everybody was talking about it. And mm-hmm. their menu looks legit, too. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's rate it 1 out of 10. Mm-hmm. The whole meal. And then we'll go to the pot pie next. Man. Okay. Let's is that cool? Yeah. All right. Okay. I'm ready whenever you yeah. are. One, two, three, eight and a half. half. Yes. Man, our, our uh, scores have kind of been on point lately. They <laughs> equal. <laughs> I'll give you ten dollars if you know the name of that dance. Cabbage Patch. No. No. What is it? You know the Cabbage Patch. Oh yeah. What is it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. You know I don't know the name of it. Babe. The Bob. Comment down below if you know the name of what I was doing. <laughs> it's okay. a '90s dance. Yeah. Okay. Let's go on. Let's do the pot pie since it's in the middle. And then we'll move to the catfish. I kind of want to do the catfish, oh, if that's do. okay, just because I don't want it to get cold. Gotcha. This pot pie is staying warm. Gotcha. Like, this is going to be hot. Good point. Okay. okay. Um, would you like to, yeah, break I out would. the piece? Do you want some lemon, though? Of course. We're okay. going to do it right. Okay. Let's do it all Let's the way right. Lemon. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. So, now we've had on this channel catfish okay. before a couple times. Is a smaller piece? Is this a smaller piece? Uh, Are they both yeah. big? Yeah, take whichever one you Sorry, want. Sorry, I'm grabbing No, both. no, of course. Grab both. Okay. <laughs> grab, both. grab both. That's perfectly fine. <laughs> okay, I do want to say this. Yeah. We've had catfish two times on this channel. Yes. You've had it two times in your life. Correct. <laughs> one when we went to the, uh, the soul food place. Which was incredible. Hell of them. And then one at the worst barbecue spot in, in our in, area. In our area. And it was terrible. Awful. So let's see where this one ranks. It looks like it's good. It looks very good. Yeah. Smells great. The breading looks on point. It looks fresh, so let's try it out. I'm going to do it without the tartar sauce first. Oh, yeah. Good point. Okay. Here we go. That's good. It's way better than the um, oh, yeah. other place we went to. The barbecue to. place. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know... I'm not bad. This is what when I do cat when I'm eating catfish, this is what it's normally tasting like. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like I do have to say mm. that soul food place we went to was the best. I mean, that was like on point. Never had catfish that good that good, I don't think. Mm-hmm. This one is very good, but this is like normally good catfish. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like this is what I'm used to eating. This is like standard, mm-hmm. you know, again, like what I would consider like homemade. Like if you were to make this at home. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I feel like it would taste like this. Mm-hmm. Like solid, good, you know. Um, I think, I wish, the, the breading's fine. I just wish maybe we had a little more seasoning and flavor on the outside. Sure. But, I think that is the downside. But it's crunchy. Mm-hmm. Soft and flaky in the middle. It's good. Yeah. I don't know what else is that. I think too. Mm. This isn't the chunkiest piece of catfish either. Uh-huh. It's a decent size, but there's a lot of breading to fish. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? Do you like it chunky? Yeah, I prefer mm-hmm. it like that. Mm-hmm. Because then you just get more to the bite. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? It's good though. You gotta have some um, hot sauce with that though. Yes. They need some hot sauce. Oh, we didn't bring hot sauce. Want me to grab some real quick? Nah. You sure? I have one. I have one more bite. It's not worth it. We'll have it later. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Right. But for the most part, on point. It's mm-hmm. on point. That was good. Should we do the mashed potatoes right quick? Let's do it. And the coleslaw? Let's do it. And I think I remember these mashed potatoes being good though. Right? Yeah, I remember them being real good. I, did we have the mashed potatoes and gravy last time? Because I know we had a loaded mashed. Oh, maybe we didn't. Yeah. 
I don't think we had this one. Maybe we didn't. This then. is bomb. It's really good, yeah. I knew this was gonna be. I don't know. Just sometimes you vibe it. So far, this is hella good. Mm -hmm. this is, <laughs> really? You did a Chris and I. Sorry about that. Sorry. Before I even took a bite. Is the coleslaw We're, good? It's amazing. This is coleslaw. You guys, this redemption is is redeemed. I think it's just what you get. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying the first time was bad, but this is just mm. way more like comforting, mm. tasty. It was really good. It's very good. Wow. So the coleslaw, what mm. I like about it, it's not. It's it's more of a wet coleslaw. Mm -hmm. If you notice, just a little bit. Well, you probably can't see it in there, but a little more moisture in there. Sometimes you get it and it's like dry. I don't like a dry coleslaw. Yeah, me neither. I like a wet coleslaw. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 100%. So let's. Let's start there. Also, it just has like a, mm. man, it has like almost like an ambrosia flavor to it. Oh, like sweet. sweet. They probably put some sugar in it. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Uh-huh. Ooh, that is good. Mm. This would taste good on a chicken sandwich. Mm -mm, it would. That would taste really good. Mm. Mm. Man. Okay. So far. It's really good. So far, money well spent. Yes. Because <laughs> that's the worst, you guys. Sometimes when we get these food, the food... And it's just kind of mediocre. It's like not good. You're like, oh man, we wasted that. Like, I know. So far, I'm loving this. Me too. Mm -hmm. I, I got. I would get the. I would get that again. Yeah, and me I too. get that again. Actually, I get both so far. Yeah. Okay. Should we rate this whole meal? Let's rate the catfish and everything together. I'm ready. My bad. That's good. I feel like we've been drinking a lot lately <laughs> in our videos. Like we're like have to take like a drinking break. Okay, one out of ten. Let's rate this. One, One two, two, three, eight. nine. Okay. I was, really like this a lot. It was really good. I was about to say eight and a half. Uh -huh. To be honest, the uh, sides boosted it to an eight and a half. Yes, that's why I gave it the nine. But just the catfish alone, I gave a solid eight. Oh, okay. That's okay. Cool. But maybe I should have did all together. Eight and a half yes. all together. Yeah. Catfish by itself, eight. That's okay. Don't feel bad. I no, mean, I don't feel bad. I just do feel like I did underrate yeah. it a little bit because I really enjoyed it. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. I may have went too high with this. No. So. <laughs> but I, I like yeah, the, to me, the catfish by itself probably wasn't a nine, but it's the size that actually took that to the next level. So Yeah. I'm ready for this pot pie Let's now. go, baby. I know. I'm just going to say you're welcome ahead of time. <laughs> I know. This well, looks you know what? so good. Okay. So let me to be honest with you guys. Yeah. I am biased um, against pot pies. I'm about the biggest pot pie fan. However, I feel like if it's done right, then it's going to be different. You know what I mean? You'll like it. You know, I just feel like I've had Maria Calendars uh -huh. a lot in my life, and Stouffer's, I think they had some, and mm -hmm. you know, not not really my favorite. Dive in. I want you to go first. Okay, let's do you it. deserve the, the the skeptical person. <laughs> yes, I know you, this isn't your favorite. Like this, this isn't, isn't your comfort food. Not not at all. But I mean, it looks it really good. It does. Looks better than any pop Ooh, this, pop I've had before. This crust is gold. Oh, I lost it. <laughs> You guys, I'm so mad. Oh, man. So mad at myself. <laughs> and it fell to beignets. Maybe that... <laughs> Let's just... Man. I'm so mad when that happens. Are you surprised, though? Yes, I was shocked. <laughs> okay? Yes, I, ha I get it. It happens. <laughs> but I'm shocked. <laughs> okay, okay let's try this. One, two, three. That shouldn't be called a Popeye. Wow. This is so good. That crust this is, is so good. This is better than a Popeye. Mm. And you're skeptical. This is different, isn't it? So, oh this is goodness. technically a Popeye, of course. Yeah. But Popeyes don't taste as good because the crust don't taste, they don't usually taste that good. They don't. Usually they're more bready. Yep. This one is, is like more of a fried, like, I don't know. Flaky. It's mm -hmm. flaky. That's what it is. It's just flaky. It is the flaky. other one's more bready. Yes. You know what I mean? Like Marie Callender's. Yeah. Does not taste yeah. as good as this. Oh my This God. is delicious. Goodness. I can't believe how good this is. Mmm. It doesn't burn your mouth when you take a bite of it. <laughs> <laughs> There's like thick chunks of chicken. Oh yeah. That gravy is so good. That's and, delicious. And the, the crust is flaky, like you said. It's not too buttery and thick. Yeah. Like, sometimes it can get, like, really, like, p pasty almost. What do you think about the gravy or whatever it is on the inside? Like, I what do you think love it. it. I it's think it has good, a great right? flavor. Man, how did they make this so good? 
This is really good. I, don't get me wrong, you guys. We liked this the first time, too. But, you know, we just felt like maybe we didn't get the right stuff because of how many people were just like, you this, know. Yeah, you're tripping. Really you're tripping, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really good. I'm shocked. <laughs> just the plate. It's so good. And this was it actually is. one of the cheaper meals compared to the other two. Yeah. It so, was, huh? Mm. Man, I, I want to keep going with this. It's so like gooey mm. and comforting. So wow. Mm. Are there potato? Am I tasting potatoes on there? Is that what's going on? I thought it was just the. Oh, are you? Yeah, there's potatoes in there for sure, but the potatoes are mushy, so they blend in with that cream and, uh -huh. the, ch and the chicken. It works well. Man. Man. I, you know, Jamil suggested that we do a redemption. I did. I was like, I don't want to do a redemption. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I know. No, and I, I was like, okay, like let's, you know, then I started, you know, digest that a little bit. And exactly. I was like, okay, let's try it. But let's get different stuff, of course. So I'm the reason why we got the pot pie. No, I, 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 I chose else, right? these. No, but I'm the main reason. Had we not, had I not thought of this idea. Yeah. Right? You got credit for the idea, but I did pick this up. <laughs> Gotcha. gotcha. Okay, let's write this pie pie and then let's dive into the dessert because the dessert looks so good. Let's do it. Okay, pot pie. Uh, one out of ten. Okay, I think I'm ready for it. Me too. One, one two, two, three, three nine. nine and a half. Okay. Wow. Yeah. I actually could order that and you guys trust me, pot pies, I've just never really been a fan of no, them. No, you Just never really been a fan. And you, you know? like, you would get this, wouldn't you? I would actually order that for sure. Mm -hmm. I would. I wouldn't be the happiest, you know, because I'd want to get a burger or something else, but I would actually order that, you know? Wow. Wow. I know. Okay. So, you guys, um, hopefully everything is okay. Uh, my memory card has three minutes left. Now, okay. it's supposed to kick into the other memory card. Oh. So, if, just so you know, if this video ends in three minutes, we're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> let's but hope it, it doesn't. It shouldn't, you know? Okay, let's do the beignet. Okay, let's do the beignet. It looks like it has a cinnamon sugar on the outside of these beignets. They do. Which is interesting. Normally has that uh, powdered sugar. Yes. But this is a cinnamon sugar outside. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get one that you didn't put. <laughs> didn't drop something you didn't on. Didn't drop the food on. <laughs> and then let's dip it in this. Yes. Uh, butter pecan sauce. Okay. It's a little little runny. That actually is. It is a little runny. Kind of, you know, throws me off a little bit. Does but it throw you know, off? Okay. But you know what? I have faith. I have faith after everything we had. I got faith. I hell have faith. So. Okay. Let me get a napkin so I don't drip this all over this food. Are you ready? Yep. Here we go. This is the one. This is the one. Cracker Barrel knows how to cook. They know what's up. Oh. MG. That's really good. Oh, MG. That's very good. I will good. eat this every day. That's better than that Coca Cola cake we had. Well, I should say I prefer this over the Coca Cola cake. I 100% prefer it over the Coca Cola. And I actually, it's kind of on par with the peach cobbler, too. The peach cobbler was mm -hmm. really good. Mm -hmm. These might be a tie, though. That is good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Now, I know it is a little more liquidy, this pecan uh, sauce. I kind of want it thicker. I'd like it more of like a, you know, a, a cream. Syrup. A, yeah, more syrupy rather than how yeah, it is. It's a little runny. Like runny, see. yeah. However, it's still very, very good. Mm. And the flavor is just on point. Mm. Yeah. And the cinnamon nice. sugar. Yeah, the cinnamon sugar is on perfect. It dissolves in your mouth. Mm -hmm. It's nice and fluffy on the inside. Yeah, it is. I love this. You like it? Didn't we now, did wow. we get something like this at Olive Garden? Uh-huh, they have. Right? They have their beignet. version of a beignet. It's not cold. But it's not like, it's not cinnamon sugar on it, mm -hmm. though, right? So do you prefer these over? Oh, See, it says zero minutes, so I gotta stop this, you guys. Okay, let's check it and see. I'm gonna check it really quick. Sorry about that, guys. My camera, or actually my memory card, something was weird with it, but I think it's recording. I hope it's recording. It looks like it's recording yeah. down there, so I hope we're good. Yeah. Anyways, what I was asking you is, do you prefer more of the cinnamon sugar on the beignets, or just kind of plain, 
with more of a dipping sauce. Yeah, so it normally has the powdered sugar. Yeah, oh, okay, that's true. Yeah, versus that's the true. cinnamon sugar. So powdered sugar, I'm sure, is the more authentic like way to do a beignet. Sure. sure. Uh -huh. But who doesn't like cinnamon sugar? Come on, you guys. Comment down below if you're cinnamon sugar fans. I mean, you just can't go wrong. To be honest, I've never mm -hmm. loved powdered sugar. It gets everywhere if you blow on it. It does. You know, and like mm -hmm. if it lands on your clothes, it's actually hard to get off. <laughs> so powdered, yeah, so I never really loved powdered sugar. So um, and I don't think it, there's much of a flavor with it, yeah. too. Anyway, set up, no, I prefer this all day. Mm -hmm. That's like my one of my new favorite desserts. It's really, really good. I'm with you on that. Yeah. I'm with you on that. That's really good. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. I gotta say, you know, you guys, when we... um, They came through. You guys have been requesting, so many of you guys have requested us doing Cracker Barrel mm -hmm. since when we started our channel. Yes, you have. We didn't have one close yep. at all until we moved out to Vegas. Yep. And now, you know, it's pretty close to us. Yep. And we were so hesitant. I'm not going to lie. I did not want to do Cracker Barrel. I didn't want to do it also. I don't know why. It's the branding, in my opinion. Yeah, maybe. The picture looks just ridiculous. The colors don't look appealing to me. I know it sounds crazy, but that's kind of what No, I agree. And I'm not yeah. trying to assault anybody. But, you know, it's very, like, mm -hmm. old-style home yeah. cooking, a little country-ish. Mm -hmm. You know, it just, yeah, it didn't sing to me either, right? Yeah. Some I people agree. love that, right? Yep. But, yeah, for us, we were like, ah. And mm -hmm. then we had the... First video, some things we liked, some things we didn't, as you know. Exactly. But we still weren't wowed. Yeah. No, that's for sure. I think it's safe to say Yeah. we are officially wowed. <laughs> I, I am. I would say I'm wowed only because I didn't expect it. No. I don't know if every time I go here I'm going to have the same reaction. Yeah. I just didn't expect it to be this good. No. Yeah, neither did I. It was very good. We're not doing the biscuits, nice. so we did that in the last video. We just kind of had them as decorations today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, you guys. Okay, let me ask you about. Yeah. What would you recommend number one out of all three meals we got? Uh, the catfish. This yeah. whole thing. I would do this as a whole combo. Yeah. Catfish, uh, coleslaw, and mashed potatoes and gravy. To me, mm. this was it. Yeah. And I'm going to actually be finishing this all by myself. Okay. Is that okay? Should, yes, it is. Here, let me get this uh, <laughs> over here on my <laughs> side can, as well. You I'm can have it. I'm just eating. Um, <laughs> yeah, and I would um, you, get no? this. I'd well, get the chicken pot pie, I think. And yeah. I would make my partner or, or friend, whoever I go with, <laughs> yeah. uh, get the catfish oh, so yeah. I can eat off of you know, so it. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. And this is a definitely close third. It was yeah. very, very good. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. What would you do um, between the dessert last time, which was the Coca-Cola, yeah. the peach cobbler, yeah. was it peach cobbler? Yep. The and the beignets, which would you decide? So I really enjoyed the peach cobbler very, very much. Mm -hmm. And I enjoyed the beignets very, very much. Yeah. I think that would really depend on my mood. Yeah. Right now I'm in the mood for like donut beignet for sure. Got but sometimes it. I'm in the mood for that like warm peach cobbler with the ice cream, you know? I feel you. And so that just depends. I think they're pretty equal. Yeah. Oh, did we rate the beignet? Uh, we did not. Let's rate it really quick, and then I do actually have something I gotta say about it. Okay, let's go. Are you ready? Yeah. One, One two, two, three, nine. nine. Yep, that's a nine. Okay. So I do have to say, yes. I think I prefer the chocolate cake over the beignet. I I forgot. I really, really love that chocolate cake. The Coca Cola cake. The Coca -Cola it was cake. really good. And yeah. I think I gave that a ten. Oh, did you? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm realize, I'm remembering now that I really, really loved it. Okay. So I don't know. I think I would, I would suggest the chocolate cake. Good. That's my opinion. And you did enjoy that too, but I did. It was like very the cake good. Number one. But that cake was so good. Yeah, good, babe. Gotta try it again sometime. I'm excited. We We're coming back here. Yeah, we like, definitely. And like really, like if we miss that, you know, homestyle cooking kind of vibe, this is the place to go. As you guys know, you guys were telling us. True. We're just late to the game. <laughs> We're late to the party here. Exactly. But I think uh, we are. I'm one with crack. I like. I'm. What's the word? Cracker Barrel has won me over. Exactly. So that's price, yeah. Well, if we love this, now we got to do Maria Calendars. Uh, Marie Calendars. Marie. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's Marie. not Maria. I've always said Maria Calendars. <laughs> it's not. It's Marie. You know what? We should do Marie Calendars because we've only done Marie Calendars like yes. frozen uh, this. Yeah. That's but true. we haven't actually been to the restaurant and like tried the food. Exactly. So we've tried the the pie. Remember that time we yeah we the tried pie? the pie correct. But not the food. So if you guys want to see Marie Calendars, comment down below. Let us know if it's comparable to this for sure. Yeah. Thanks guys for suggesting Cracker Barrel. Super excited. Absolutely. That was fun. Mm -hmm. Totally was. successful mukbang. For sure. And once again, you guys, if you do good. want exclusive, more exclusive content from us, sign completely up. for free, sign up for that inner circle. Uh, essentially what you want to do is you enter your information and then you're on 
that yeah because some people were asking like where the inner circle was it's literally once you enter your info and you're on the email community then you're inside of the inner circle that yes makes sense. and all you need to enter is a first name and yeah. your email and address email. that's it we don't need your social security or yeah. your personal address nothing like that just exactly. an email and your first name's fine absolutely we do send emails out about two three times a week so. yeah all right, you guys. Okay, you guys. Thank you so much. We love you so for much, sure. fam. And we'll see you tomorrow for another video. Catch you next time. Peace. Peace out, trouts.